Hello, uh, today I'm gonna show you how to create this folded text effect in Adobe Photoshop as you can see with a really nice reflection and yeah okay so let's get to it Okay, so open your Adobe Photoshop and go to File, New, and then we just use this dimension you see in here. You can favorite, you can use whatever dimension you're comfortable with. So we'll just press OK. And for the background color, I will use this soft green in here. You can see the hex code in here. Press OK, then we just press Alt Delete. And now I will go to text and I'm using Great Lakes regular font. I will put a link in the description, you can download it from there. Just type full. Just replace it in the middle. Now I will make a, a new layer. We we'll call it light. And then we we'll put the blending mode to soft light and 30% opacity. And we we'll make another new layer and then we we'll call it dark. And this time I will put the blending mode to multiply. Now I will go back to the text layer in here and then we we'll right click and then we choose convert to shape this is we convert it to, to a vector shape in here now I will just start like trying to make a folded effect so I will go to this pen tool in here and then we choose add anchor print and then we go to this direct selection tool and then we choose the white one in here direct selection tool now I will go back this one and if I press like if I press control it will change it to direct selection tool I will start with these so I can show you how to create like uh, some and then we just fast the video so now I will add an anchor point in here and as you can see there is like a bracket added also so we we'll just take this bracket and we we'll bring it in the middle and we we'll bring it to the point in here now I will add another point in here and I will just bring the bracket in here like so we'll add another one in here bring the bracket so now I will add another point in here and again We'll just bring the bracket in here. Now I will just select this this one in here. And I will press Shift and I will select this one in here. We we'll just try to make a uh, like this to make it like it's like it doesn't look good now but we need to wait now I will just load selection and then we go to this you know, lasso tool in here we'll, and then we make sure this one is selected too and then we just try to make a uh, like a line in here so you can select this this part in here so this like so you can see now I will go and choose gradient tool and I will go to this one in here and I will choose a white color we we'll go to the light layer 
and for this gradient I will make sure this one in here is set to zero opacity and I will click OK now I will just try to make this area a little bit bright as you can see you can see it gives it a little bit of effect in here now I will go and I will load the selection again and we'll try to make darker area in here so now we choose the dark layer and then we go back to the gradient tool and I will now change the white to a uh, gray so I will just put BF 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 and we'll just click OK we'll go to dark layer and I will try to put a darker color like so As you can see it give it like a, a really nice effect now uh, what we're gonna do I will go and I will add a uh, we just put this this one point is already in here and I will just make it like up like so so it will looks like uh, like an origami or something like that so just I will make it like so little bit up like this now I will go and I will load the selection again and I will just try to make uh, this like what I did like so like I will just make this triangle selection in here. now I will go back to the gradient tool and I will make try to make it uh, darker by choosing the dark layer in here so, as you can see see it give it like a really nice uh, effect like it's an origami folded paper now we we'll just make one more in here so you can see so we we'll go to the direct selection tool and then we we'll choose this one in here and then we we'll add uh, another layer another point in here so it will like make a triangle as you can see like I don't have to do any cutting so it will make it look like so I will just select this point point in here and I will make it like up like so now I will go to I will load the selection in here and I will go to this one in here. And I will just try to select this triangle. Mm -hmm. Like so. And I will make it look darker. So, as you can see. So we just continue doing this like with the same basics and I will just stop the video and I will see you in Alright so that's how uh like I just put these ones in here. It's not that complicated as this one so it was quick for the sake of this tutorial. So now we just go to the fold text in here and I will just double click to load the layer side dialog and I will go to the gradient overlay and I will choose reflected and I will just let me make this one to white and I will just make this one to black like so 
Now I will put the opacity of the white to zero. And I will click OK. Now I will choose the blending mode to soft light and I will put the opacity to 60%. And I will click OK. I will give it like a little bit more of like work to so this. Let's see. Now I will just make a new layer. I will put it, put it behind this one in here and I will just go and select rectangle mark 2 they will make a rectangle in here just fill it with black by clicking alt delete and I will just press ctrl T and right click I will choose distort now I will try to make it like look like a shadow like so it looks nice now we'll make a uh, another duplicate of it by clicking ctrl g i will go to filter blur gaussian blur and i will choose six and we we'll just try to make it a little bit smaller like if you go to this one in here and press alt and it will shrink the both side like so Okay, now we'll put the blending mode to overlay, put it to soft light, and I will load this one in here, and I will go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, I will choose 9 pixels, I reduced opacity to uh, 30%. We choose the blending mode to multiply. We go Ctrl T. Try to make it like shadow. Just reduce the opacity of this one in here too. Okay. Now I will grab the, the eraser tool and I will just put a soft opacity with a soft hardness. We we'll just try to delete in here. Little bit in here. Also Mm -hmm. like so you can see it give it like a little bit of shadows now I will put everything in here except the shadows in group I just call this shadows I will duplicate this one in here And I will press Ctrl T, right click, flip vertical, so I will make a, a reflection. Like so, I will make a layer mask 
And then we go to choose the black. Then we start to delete a little bit of. Like so we put the blending mode to overlay. Now I will go to the texture and I will just drag it in here and I will make a clipping mask to the fold image in here and I will put the blending mode to soft light and I will reduce the opacity to 50% like so now I will go to the folds and I will duplicate the dark and light layers and I will put them above the textures. So it will make, uh, make them look like more shadow to the text. Now I will just make a curves and make it look a bit darker so we will make a vignette and we add a little bit of tones to the image to the text now i will choose the layer mask and i will choose a really nice big brush that we start the lead like so yeah and there you go so i hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you don't forget to subscribe and comment and like this video and have a nice day.